Hey guys, it's Tech Racer. I'm today to unbox a smart bulb from Cisco, and I purchased this from Flipkart, as you can see. And I got a pretty good deal on this uh, smart bulb. And it's a RGB bulb, so you can like control the entire bulb from your uh, mobile phone, the app which they provide. And you can also control it using the uh, Amazon Echo Dot and the Google Home as well, if you have. So let's really open the box and see what do we get inside and how to set it up with your smartphone uh, and the smart speakers as well so i'll just uh, uh, break down the seal right from here okay so this is the bill uh, and this is how the bulb look uh, it's a uh, cisco smart home and uh, uh, nothing else from the box so this is a uh, the box of the bulb itself as you can see so at the back uh, so at the back as you can see the important specifications uh, and the price quoted at the back side is 1399 but yeah that's only for the sort of mentioning it then uh, it has like b22 that's the standard indian uh, bulb uh, holder in the 640 lumens and then app control and 16 million colors as it's an L rgb bulb at the bottom we have the Cisco home smart home and all the those brandings and you can download the app uh, and it's uh, support both the google assistant and amazon alexa okay so let's quickly open the box and see what do we get inside so we get the bulb itself so this is the bulb so yeah this is our it and the build quality okay we'll talk about it a bit later so i'll just keep it aside and this is the mm, quick start guide it's 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi enabled so it does not support dual band um uh, okay it's okay quite fine so you need to download the app uh, by scanning this code or you can simply download the Cisco smart home app which is mentioned over here and you can set up the bulb with it as well so yeah so nothing else inside the box so let's take a look at the bulb so this is the bulb that we get so as you can see Cisco led over here and at the back side we have few information uh, regarding the input voltage uh, so yeah 220 volts to 240 volts uh, then and it's a 8 watt bulb and initial impressions the bulb do feel quite average uh, i can simply feel something is like uh, moving inside the bulb you can hear it too so yeah the quality seems pretty average but yeah and yeah it is average as you can see the connectors are pretty off centered mm. Okay, let's let's test it out and let's connect it to a power source and see how does it goes uh, so yeah i'll quickly switch the camera angle as well okay so guys what i did i simply connected the bulb to this soft box itself so i just removed the uh, standard white uh, uh, led from it and uh, plugged in this cisco led so let's quickly download the app on our device so we'll simply download it from the play store so it's uh, uh, let me just increase the brightness so it's Cisco uh, smart home so it's Cisco smart home and it should install the app and it's controlled over the Wi-Fi and internet so irrespective of the Wi-Fi it will work whether you are on mobile data or anything else so yeah don't worry about it it will work most of the time so this is the app name Cisco smart home so let it uh, install the first on your phone and then we'll so initially when you plug in the device to a power source it will be light up in this white color and let's quickly now open this it says agreement so agree it says login sign up so i need to sign up uh, yeah i'll just put in my id Okay, so after setting up the password, you will be greeted up with this uh, interface. So you are logged in. Now you'll see no devices are present over here. So simply click on this plus icon or simply add device over here. And there are a list of uh, devices available over here. So as you can see, light source. So basically there are two bulbs over here. So light source BLE that works on the Bluetooth. And this one is Wi-Fi one. So that's why blue light source Wi-Fi. Uh, okay, allow location. Simply allow the location permission. Allow while using the app. 
and so it detected the Wi-Fi network. So I'll simply uh, put in my password over here. So well, so I entered my password. Next. So it says uh, press the button on off three times to uh, make it in the pairing mode. Okay, so I'll just turn it off three times. Turn it on and off three times. So as you can see the bulb is blinking so yeah i confirm the blur it is blinking like rapidly next uh, now it's scanning for the device okay so as you can see it did scan the device and added it successfully i can change the name of the bulb right from here so rgbc smart bulb so i'll simply rename it as smart uh, bulb okay save and done okay so it's registering i think mm. okay so i think the setup is complete so if i like okay so it goes off turns on automatically then we do have some modes over here so white mode color mode scene mode and schedule so white mode uh, like it adjusts the brightness so this is the lowest one and this is the 50 percent brightness and this is the hundred percent okay uh, after that we have here color mode so we can change the color right from here so this is the red color uh, brightness this is the maximum brightness the brightness is pretty dim as you can see it's not as bright as the one which I am using currently uh, but yeah in terms of brightness it's pretty weak so if I go to green this is how the green looks I don't know if you are able to see let me just uh, increase some so the sign class you can see it over here uh, i'll just move the camera angle a bit so as you can see sign color over here if i like make it purple this is blue red green so a pretty dim in terms of colors so if you like uh, using individual colors so like rgb colors are pretty dim but if you're like using white color then it's pretty bright as you can see because all the three leds are glowing at the same time so that's why uh, the white color will be obviously uh, much more brighter than other colors then we do have the scene modes like uh, night mode reading mode uh, meeting and leisure there are different types of modes available which basically sets the color of the bulb uh, then we do have the schedule so you can simply add our schedule that it should turn on at this time and turn off at this time it should re uh, repeat the schedule as well so yeah this is how it goes so you can uh, schedule our own settings as well and uh, i don't see any other more settings over here so as you can see you can simply add it uh, on the echo dot as well as this google assistant so we'll quickly try it out with uh, this echo dot and google assistant would be like uh, more or less similar to it so I'll use this thing, uh, log into Amazon account. So I'll simply open up this uh, uh, app. So as you can see now it's blinking in all the different colors. Just wait for a while. It's like linking to the Amazon account link. Successfully linked as you can see. Okay, so it's linked. So now let's try it out once. Uh, Alexa, turn off smart bulb. Okay, so it turned off. Alexa, turn on smart bulb. Okay, so it did turn on. Alexa, set the smart bulb to white color. Okay, so basically I muted the Alexa. I'll just unmute it. Alexa, Turn off smart bulb. Okay, so it did turn off. Alexa, turn on. Alexa, turn on smart bulb. Okay. Alexa, make the smart bulb to color blue. Okay. So yeah, it's a blue color as you can see. Uh, Alexa, turn the brightness to 50% for the smart bulb. Okay. 
Okay. So it's fifty percent brightness. So it's even lower. Alexa, turn the smart bulb to color white. Okay. So yeah, guys. I think this is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you found this video really helpful, then do that like button, subscribe button, and stay tuned for more such videos. So thank you, thanks for watching.